So Abella, you have recently moved over to the other side of the camera. You started directing. Can you tell us what prompted that happening? Okay. So um, I found myself um, really wanting to be a director because my favorite directors are women. So it was just kind of like, why are there not more female directors? Like there's so many there are, especially compared to when I first got into so I can only imagine even before, because I've only been in for six years, but I've seen more and more female directors and it's just so different to have in front of a female director than it is to a woman and than it is to shooting in front of a man. And it's just kind of like, sometimes I would be on set and I would be like, whoa, like I'm the only girl here. Like it would be the male director, the male PM, the male. And then it's just like, I don't know. It's so comforting to have like a girl there to... I would say protect you. Not that like you can't, you're not protected when you're, but it's like, okay. So like the best way I could describe it is when you're shooting for a guy director and the guy's having wood problems, the guy director most of the time will like sympathize with the guy. Cause they know how it is like when, I, you know, not to get wood, but then like, so one of my favorite female directors, like She'd be like, what's wrong with you? Like, why can't you get hard for her? Like, she like feels bad for me. Cause like, which is like, honestly, guy, people don't think about it, but when a guy can't stay hard for a girl, like that really kind of like blows their self-esteem for a little bit. Cause you're just like, what am I doing wrong that you can't, I don't know. So it was like a mixture of things. Like I wanted to like, and I love shooting girls for scenes because um, it just, I like to make them feel like really comfortable and like know that they have like an ally there. Like, I understand what it's like, like I've been in your shoes. So, um, and I just wanted to like capture people having like really amazing, like I never really like tell people like what to do. Obviously, if, like I can't see anything. I'm like, you know, open up a little bit, but like, yeah, I kind of just like let girls like have fun and I love dressing them and making them look super cute and just so many things. I love, love, love directing. I love performing a little bit more though, because it's a lot more stress-free. I will say that. Mm, yeah. Because what a lot of people may not realize is that in the industry with directing comes producing. Oh. You don't get to just direct. You yeah. have 10 other hats. Yeah. It's like, uh, like last minute cancellations and like people not testing and like so many things that can go wrong. Like even the night before the day of, and I'm just like, like, I wish I could, like, it's so much easier when you just show up and like, just have, um, yeah. it's definitely more rewarding, like directing in a sense, because you're just like, you get to like, watch this thing that you made and, um, you like got to like make the performers happy and then make the millions of people that are watching it happen. So it's like this really cool, like chain reaction that I mm. get to be a part of. What, um, was there anything about direct, was there anything that you learned from directing that maybe made you realize why made you like, kind of be like, give you an aha moment with performing. Do you know what I mean? Like when you perform sometimes and directors want something specific and then you're like, yes. Oh, so why do I have to do this or whatever? And then yes, you're, direct, you're like, Oh, yes, yes. So now I understand when um, directors call cut or a performer calls cut, they want you to stay as still as possible and not like go across the room and yeah. get on your phone or something like that. Cause um, yeah, it makes for like a harder like cut point to like start back from like um so i was like oh i get it now like i've been making these people miserable by like doing i don't even know what so i'm kind of more i think it's actually made me a better performer like to be a director as well cuz you're more like aware of like the camera and like how it works and um yeah so for sure. I, I will say that's a hundred percent true. I love shooting performers who also direct because they intuitively know what I need. Yeah. They know, like we were speaking earlier, you know, we were literally, we started this podcast and my dogs barked while you were in the middle of answering a question. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we need to cut this out. And you knew to go back to me asking you the question so that you could start up by answering the question yeah. so that we had like, you know, we didn't have to try to splice words together. And I was like, this girl understands directing. Yeah, I've been lucky to learn a lot since I've started directing. And I got to like, um, be like mentored by a mind geek director. And I got to like, learn a lot from him. And I'm like, really grateful that I got into like, learn so much and do something that I, cause it's, it's really hard to 
dragged, like learning how to use a camera took me like a long time and like Mm -hmm. understanding like all the settings. Like I have so much more respect for directors now than I did when I was a performer. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, it's not, I never thought it was that, but like one day I was on set and I was already directing and it was like a few months ago. And the sound guy was like, you're just pushing a button. And I was like, okay, no, I wish it was just shooting a button. Like, no, it is not. Like I, I could, I was like baffled that he would even say that because so much like goes into it. Like I had to learn how to set up my lights and like put on diffusers and like, like, you know, test shadows and the white balance and color correction and like so much that I was like, I can't believe you even just said that. So it really made me um, appreciate like the work that directors do and like how much hard they work to like shoot good content. 